I started liking tattoos when I was like around about like six, seven years old when I started watching wrestling and The Undertaker, like the first tattooed guy ever. So I started painting my uh, action figures. Yeah, this was like the first time when I when I really saw tattoos and start thinking about, oh cool, what can you do with your body? Hi, I'm Julian Siebert. I'm tattooing 15 years. My shop is called Corpse Painter Tattoo in Munich. I hope you liked the video of me and hopefully we see us sometimes, maybe at a convention. Have fun and all the best. I had a quite bad car accident when I was a kid and my dad went to a concert from, uh, for, from Slimnot and he wanted to invite me and it was like kind of a surprise but before I went to coma so he asked for um, for uh, signatures of the band and so I get like a shirt with uh, we hope you get better see you soon Slipknot 2001 and this was the point when I uh, woke up in the hospital and my father gave me the shirt for me it was like a, a big thing and it helped me a lot to 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 grow again and start walking again, start smelling. When I had this, I just started thinking about my life and what I want to become. And in the end, I just found out like, yeah, it's, it's art. And my parents were like always behind me and they just said like, yeah, try it. Just that you become happy. When I was out of hospital, I was just like, okay, for all these bad moments, I want like a sign that I will never forget. And that's, this was the time when I got my first tattoo. When I quit school, I just took my uh, paintings and I just went to tattoo shops. And luckily the first one uh, took me as an apprentice. And what I didn't know before, <laughs> that he was a quite weird guy, but at least, you know, he taught me um, how to use a machine and needles, but it was not a long, long apprenticeship, so I had to, to uh, learn everything by myself. As I was amazed by so many different artists, and so I could never choose what I prefer. So I love realistic stuff, I love um, biomechanic, and that's how I came up with like this filigree stuff, because I can do it quite plastic. It's nice for like the body shape. My mother always um, liked my work, but by the time she was more into like, I would ha love to have something small, at least. And in the end, it was round about my shop opening, like my last shop opening before five years. And so I just decided my mother has to get the first tattoo in my own shop. I don't want to copy myself, that it's always like the same thing. I always try to, of course, it looks like kind of my stuff. But I always try to do something special for my client. You will see that there are similarities, but it's never the same. Before 15 years, you did one amazing piece and you get world famous. Nowadays, you have to do like 20 amazing pieces until people recognize your name. And this makes the world of tattoos like better because there's a lot of crazy good work but for the artist itself it's super difficult because you have to push yourself so much and do so much until people remember you. I was always the working guy. I worked like six days a week, 16 hours a day, six years and I just thought like yeah okay fuck my private life. It's just like I'm the tattoo artist that's it and then I met Easy and um, in this moment I just saw like maybe it's not only tattooing. I love tattooing and she helps me a lot. So we are kind of a tattoo family. She's working in my shop. And this is really what life should be, that you are a tattoo artist, but also have private life. For me, it's just super important to say that I think uh, tattoos have to fit on the body. This is for me something I always tell people. It doesn't matter how good the tattoo looks at itself. It has to look good like in, from a distance. I could never imagine to do anything else. Tattooing is my life and I would never change a single thing.